Hello friends, welcome back. This is the second part of our publication video. Here we will see few more benefits of using publication in KTR V5. The next benefit is you can create a publications of parameters like length, radius, etc. of the elements. In this example, we already published the position of the screw boss and use that into the second part. Now, I'm gonna publish the radius of the screw boss and use that into the second part. So let's see how to do that. The first center of this screw boss and in that you can see this is the sketch 6. In the sketch 6, this screw boss is created with this radius. So this is the parameter I want to publish. Now go to the tools click on the publication and you can click here no and the traditional way I want to select the radius parameter but it won't allow me to do that so how to publish this parameter so in the publication window you can find here the parameter tab click on that you will get a new window here you will get all the uh, parameter list which is included in this part now I have to find out uh, the body 12, case 6 and this radius 12 parameter from it. So I will scroll down to body 12, radius, uh, sketch 6, radius 12 and radius. So select that, click OK. If you want to change the name here, you can change the name by clicking here. Radius 1, click OK. I don't want to change the original name, so I click OK here. Now, minimize this part. And radius 1 is get published. Now copy this. Pen station. With link. So now in the parameters, you can see in the external parameters, you can find the radius. Uh, parameter there. So go to this hole, double click on this hole and here right click in that, create edit formula and you have to select this into 4 plus 0.5 mm. Click OK. Here you are getting 8.5. Click OK. So now this is uh, linked to that parameter. Now again, go back here and check the updatability. Go to the sketch and I'll edit this radius to 6. Click OK. Update. Exit from the sketch first. Update. Update. Second part. And now you can see the hole is get updated with respect to the new screw size. The next benefit of using publication is you can make the elements available into the specification tree which is not available earlier. For example, the sub elements like faces, edges, vertices and axes etc. So here, I will show you how to create a publication or you can put the faces into the specification tree. So you can select this face, go to tools, go to publication, say yes click ok so the face this face get into the specification tree suppose i want this uh, screw axis into the specification tree then i will go to this go to this publication here right click go to the other selection and here i can select axis click ok now axis is into the specification tree next thing Go to the publications, 
suppose I want to create a vertex, so select this vertex and this will be in the specification tree. So once you create a publication and suppose uh, with any reason you don't want that publication anymore, we want to delete that publication. If you delete that from the tree, suppose I want to delete this publication from the tree. So when you delete this, it will delete the element, not that publication. So to delete that, you should be go to the tools again and here open that publication and then you have to remove that required publication from it. So suppose I don't want this uh, vertex publication, so you can select that and remove. I don't want this axis and we can remove face you remove click ok so in this way you can remove unwanted publications by using a publication tool so next benefits of the publication we'll see that into the next part of this video thanks for watching